and I'm Christy Castellano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Two teenagers whose Henniker High School classmates are just back in school for a new year are tonight named as burglary suspects who were shot and killed by an Onondaga County Sheriff's deputy. 15-year-old Lou Mo and 17-year-old Dal Pathwiapet were two of 16 suspected in that crime spree. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan shows the different perspectives from the community. Feelings about what happened overnight Tuesday into Wednesday depends on who you ask. The chain of events over 10 hours ended today with tragic results. Some want to know why a 15 and 17 year old were part of an alleged crime spree when they should be preparing to go back to school. People who knew the two teens are asking why the sheriff's deputy would shoot at minors and didn't have his uniform camera rolling. The department's policy allows him to put safety over his camera when in imminent danger. He most likely didn't have time to put that body camera on. You'd have to put yourself in his shoes and watch that video before you question whether or not he had his body camera on. The video referenced by the sheriff comes from a home near where the shooting happened, the Midler Meadows Mobile Home Park in DeWitt. It doesn't seem like it will be made public anytime soon as investigators use the footage to identify the other four suspects still on the loose. The state attorney general is investigating if the deputy's choice to pull his trigger was justified. He had nowhere to flee to. Um, this, this whole thing happens in seconds. Uh, he had almost, he had, he had no options. The Onondaga County District Attorney is investigating the car thefts and if these teens are suspected of any others. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Now here's part of what the Syracuse City School Superintendent Anthony Davis wrote his district. As a superintendent, as a father, and as a citizen of the city of Syracuse, I am deeply saddened by the events that unfolded this week. He goes on to say, we will be mindful to make sure that we're paying close attention to the needs of all involved. Christy.